Hey guys, welcome to, back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be trying to build a scenic display for this uh, armor kit. And now the kit itself is just a 172 scale uh, Merkava Mark II tank that I quickly built. Now the kit was, this is, I uh, found this inexpensive kit. Um, don't know a lot about this kit. It says it's from Ertl. Uh, the only date I found was on the um, the decal uh, she uh, there's just a few decals and I think it's in 1992 so um, just uh, kind of follow the simple instructions most of it was just putting together uh, the uh, treads and uh, track system and other than that it was pretty pretty simple build so I got together it's one again I think it's a uh, 170 second scale uh, not so much focus about the uh, model. I think it, it turned out pretty cool though. For it had some issues, but uh, nothing major. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm not a tank expert, especially not on this one. And so, but I do want to show you just kind of. Well, hopefully, it will be a nice little scenic display. And to start off with this uh, piece of regular packaging styrofoam, and. And I uh, uh, have a styrofoam cutter, you plug it in, and this gets hot pretty quickly. Uh, within about 20 seconds, it's hot enough to cut through. And basically, just cut through uh, and channeled out like a roadway that I'm going to build around. And of course, I'm going to be adding a lot of stuff to this. Uh, I'll have to seal it and uh, do some different things to get some texture on there. And, and then we'll add this on. So hopefully, it'll turn out nice. But I am going to uh, still need to paint the tank. so. I uh, need to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to add on a black primer coat and then um, decide on what kind of paint job. This one has kind of a light olive drab kind of color, uh, but we'll, I'll make up my mind just a second on that. So let's get the tank finished up and then we'll move into finishing up this display. Well, here's my build so far. I'm uh, working on this uh, scenic display base. As you remember, I just had this piece of regular like package styrofoam that we find in all, any kind of package that we have goods in. Anyway, I cut that out, cut it out with my hot wire cutter, and I'm just trying to keep this simple without using any like plaster of Paris or any kind of fancy things. And I'm just using some Mod Podge and a little bit of uh, like hobby sand, and I also have some like hobby a little bit. Um, some of this scenic uh, ballast, coarse uh, brown, it's a little bit um, thicker, and you can get these in all kind of different shapes and sizes. Anyway, I uh, put a coat some Mod Podge, Mod Podge to kind of seal the styrofoam and build up layers of sand, mix them with a little bit of that ballast, and uh, just kind of build it up to where we have a, a kind of this desert looking texture to it. So I'll be painting all, all this over. Um, now, I did seal it in Mod Podge, so I could probably use a spray. Uh, aerosol can to paint it, but it still may affect some of the styrofoam. So I'm just going to be using my airbrush to paint over this uh, some kind of desert colors. And uh, I'll probably just paint the sides with a brush, uh, probably just a black. Now, on the, uh, I did cut out a piece of wood to kind of match it. It was a little bit lightweight um, with just that styrofoam. And this was just an old piece of a ceiling fan blade that I just kind of traced out and then cut and white glued to the board there. So I'll be painting this up and adding some more details as I go, but I think it's uh, coming along. We'll have our tank kind of sitting over somewhere in there. So it'll just be a, a small scenic display for it. And here's our tank here. Now, I think I cut it the uh, Merkava, and I've been watching some videos on it, and I've heard people say 
Merkaba. Uh, so maybe that's the correct pronunciation. Um, anyhow, uh, which means chariot, by the way, which I thought was pretty cool. But as you can see, I've added in the decals. I did some um, detail painting on the guns, the shovel, and I sealed it um, with a gloss clear, uh, clear coat. And I just used this Model Master uh, gloss clear coat that I uh, sprayed on with my airbrush uh, to uh, protect the uh, decals and also give us a surface to start doing some uh, weathering stuff. I went in with this uh, Penaline accent color and just kind of took a, uh, it has an applicator, but I took a fine, fine paint brush and put it all around the recess areas and took uh, a cotton swab with a little bit of this tester's enamel thinner to clean off the excess. And that's where that clear coat protects the paint and the decals um, from all this, uh, from the other, from this enamel thinner and this, it keeps this uh, Penaline accent color from bleeding into the paint it just kind of lays on top of it and you can wipe it off pretty easily with that cotton q-tip in the enamel thinner anyway you can see where we have some of the black um, just getting in some of the panel lines and bringing out some of the de uh, detail in it now i'm going to be uh, doing a lot more weathering to this obviously uh, but i think it's looking pretty good uh, i'm actually having a lot of fun with this small scale it doesn't take a lot of paint uh, to paint something like this so that's uh, pretty nice um, but I'm liking the way it's looking, um, but I'm going to be doing a lot more weathering to it and uh, painting up our display stand. So I'm going to go ahead and probably finish out the rest of uh, uh, the model and the display, and when I come back, we should be all done. Alright, well here is my finished uh, 172nd skill Ertl uh, Markova 2 tank and uh, the scenic display that I made for it. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's a nice small display, but uh, kind of adds to the tank. I finished up um, spray painting on a coat of, I'm just using this apple bar, uh, khaki color. And uh, it already had some dark sand on there, so spraying it kind of gave it a texture color. I had some uh, rocks from my yard that I found, kind of cracked them up to make some small ones, uh, kind of super glued in place and hot glued some of the bigger ones. And uh, just spray painted those too. Uh, you can see some of the, these are just uh, some scenic uh, bushes you can buy from like model train uh, sites and uh, things. Uh, Amazon, uh, eBay has these. Or some of your local hobby shops may have these. I think you can sometimes find a Hobby Lobby and places like that. But anyway, so the, I like having that color in there. The uh, I made the antenna just using some uh, black sprue. You just heat it up and pull it apart. And give me a nice little antenna and then super glued that into place. The tank itself, I also, as I was spraying the base, put the tank on there. And... Um, while I had the khaki loaded in my airbrush, I went ahead and just sprayed a light coat to kind of give it that um, sanded, dusted look over the tank. I think that really added a lot to it, kind of helps blend it in like it's been traveling through the desert and stuff. I also went in with some dry pastels, darken up some colors, and add in some lighter shades uh, on it. And I, when I'm all finished, you can kind of see right in here, a little bit closer, some of that and those dry pastels just to add, add into it. As you can see, the tank's just uh, resting on it. Um, I suppose if you wanted to, you could you know, leave some wet um, areas in here and then press down to kind of give it that more uh, treaded look. I didn't worry too much about that. So, but happy how that turned out. I uh, put a matte uh, varnish over everything once I was done with everything to lock everything, especially the dry pastels into place. Uh, the tank also had a little bit of chipping with some sponge and brush chipping um throughout the tank uh just kind of add in that extra detail so anyway guys hope you've enjoyed it uh, i'm really happy how it turned out uh super cheap uh basically no cost to build the scenic display just be styrofoam some old wood some sand paint i had on hand um, i had these uh, scenic bushes uh, rocks i found in the yard super cheap um, 
to make that. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Makes a nice way to display this little model. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it and everybody have a good one and I'll see you next time. Thank you.